Hi friends, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to talk to you about medical supplies. Specifically, the face masks that we're all wearing. Uh, we can use Darkroom Booth to take a picture of our face or our customers' faces and make a mask that they can wear so people know that with everything still going on the way it is, that we're still smiling and we're still trying. So, one thing we want to talk about before we get into it is uh, the type of printer you will need. Now, it's a dye sublimation printer, but not the type that you're used to with uh, printing photo strips. Um, this is a transfer printer. I have an example right here. So, it would print out on a sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper, but this is a very sp uh, special ink that then gets heated up just like your other dye sub printer. And it gets heated up and then bonded to the material. And I have a couple examples. This is a piece of aluminum that uh, that has an image transferred to it. And um, so this is a really cool printing process. Um, here's a slate. It's a, a rock with an image of me and my wife and then my puppies. Um, it's a really cool process. And this is an example of a printer that you can use with the setup and then you would also need to get the blanks to transfer to. You also need a heat press. So the process isn't real simple but we have had quite a few requests for this information. From the darkroom side which is where I specialize, um, I'm going to create a screen template and a print template and kind of show you how to use them. Um, so here, if we edit this template, I have a, a normal start button. I have a live view that's taking up the full screen. Sometimes we don't recommend it. If you wanted, uh, if your computer's running a little bit slower because the live view is a little bit large, you can shrink the live view down um, from the sides uh, like this. And then um, center of the live view and that will const uh, constrain the image and just show you essentially this much of what you're seeing of me. So um, and what we're basing this template off and also the print template is actually the height so the image is still si uh, the same size um, the face actually is the same size even though the image is cropped to a vertical. So um, that is one option that you can have if you're running into some issues. Um, and uh, so we have a, a mask that it's kind of hard to see it because you still want to see the whole image. So it's uh, somewhat transparent and then you can see the image just like normal through the face and they would line up their face and then they can also see where the uh, the mask would, what's actually gonna show on the, the mask. So in this case, you would see a little bit of the background, which is okay because most people don't have a, a jaw like that's squared off. So that is uh, the print template end. There's uh, the live view, the mask, uh, for the face, the, the, what's hiding the face. Uh, the term mask is used in two different um, meanings here. And then the actual face mask itself, this guy, which is where you, uh, you're you showing the print, print boundaries. And it'll also make it easier to line up with your blank um, mask when you're transferring it. And then um, uh, let's cancel and we'll go to the print template and the way the print template is set up it's actually using rather than just a graphic on top um, it's using a print mask and this is what I mean by a two different meanings in the word mask so we're using a custom predefined mask using that same, and I'll show you the file and how this works. A lot of people know this from uh, Photoshop, black conceals, white reveals. 
So this JPEG mask is only, it's hiding everything else in this image. So um, only this part right here actually prints. So what's nice about this is it's going to give you the exact same face as uh, face showing, the part of the face showing that's in the print template. And if you have a, a smaller mask for, let's say, a child, you can shrink this down and it will still print out what they see um, in the, uh, on the screen. So, or you can zoom it in if it doesn't quite match up with your printer, or you can change it to five by seven, those type of things. But what they see on the, and it's kind of hard to see what exactly is going on here. So I'm gonna remove this mask and you can see it's just a photo one object zoomed in. And then with the mask applied, it hides and only prints that small area. So it's a little bit complicated. I'll send these files so you have them, you can test them out. And then if you needed to uh, make modifications for yours, let's say your mask shape is different, then you can take this mask uh, graphic, update it, maybe scan it with a scanner, and then update the shape on the mask. And you'll need Photoshop for those type of uh, changes. but um, you have all the tools there, what I use to build them and also the finished result. So if you need to make modifications. Okay, so I wanted to show you a quick example of how this works. We'll go ahead and start up the booth and the live view should come on. And you can see around this area, eh, it is, uh, it's kind of ghosted outside of here. So I know exactly where to put my head. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit so it's easier. So I'm pretty close, but what's really important is the little red line, what's inside the red line is actually what's gonna print. So when I'm ready, I start it. And it's gonna send to a normal black and white document printer because I don't have a uh, die sublimation transfer printer, but we'll still be able to see how this works. Ah, my printer is not calibrated, <laughs> but you can see now you would then take this and transfer it to a mask and then it should fit over your face just like that. Okay, so that does it for this video. I hope you guys are all staying home, staying healthy, taking care of each other, and till next time, be safe. Hi, it's me again. If this video has been helpful, be sure to check out one of our other videos just like this one. And if we've earned it, please consider subscribing. This lets us know people are out there watching our videos and it's making their job and their life just a little bit easier. Please consider subscribing right over here.